Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is a absolutely gorgeous day out today. It's like 55, 60 degrees, the sun is shining, and guess what? The showroom is open for business. That's right, Governor Murphy here in New Jersey announced yesterday that the showroom uh, for car dealerships and motorcycle dealerships can open for business. So this will be the first time in three and a half weeks since I've been back to the store that I can actually invite a client into the showroom to uh, discuss the purchase of a vehicle. Uh, which I'm really excited about. It's it's just another step in things kind of getting back to normal. Um, I've seen it all, you know, in the last three and a half weeks, you kind of get all aspects of it. You know, you, you get people that think that the whole pandemic thing is a complete hoax and conspiracy theory and all that sort of stuff. You get the complete opposite end, uh, you know, the spectrum where like people were coming in, this one woman in particular, telling us that these masks weren't something that we should be wearing. We should be demanding better ones because, you know, these masks let the droplets in and they're not going to work for you anyway. So you kind of had to just adapt to each person that you were in front of and around and near to show them that you were making an effort to, to make them as comfortable as possible in this situation, no matter what your thought process was. Uh, you know, because of that, I was kind of reluctant to put videos out there like dealership lifestyle videos because I do represent another company, you know, and I do this on the side and they're not against me doing it or anything like that, but I wanna make sure I try to represent things in the best possible way. And because there are so many opinions out there, I didn't wanna kind of put any content out there that's gonna that's gonna cause you know controversy or anything like that even though you know none of it would have been intentional as far as doing things that maybe certain people thought weren't right or or were too much or whatever you know so who knows anyway there's the dealership it's open showroom's open we'll still take proper precautions we wear our masks inside uh you know we have partitions on the desks i think i showed those in one of the last videos and uh you know we're, we're focusing on on hopefully getting back to work and selling cars this equinox i'm in right now is going to be going out later on today so i'm going to fill it up with gas we'll bring it back get it detailed get it sanitized and the clients will be here around two o'clock to do the paperwork but um let me just update you on uh, on what sales have been like for the last three and a half weeks you know, the store is not doing nearly what it normally does. We're probably only doing a third, maybe a little bit better than a third of what we would normally do. However, for the first two weeks, I was the only salesperson here. So, you know, every car that was sold by the team, in a sense, the two sales managers, myself or the finance manager, um, you know, all went through me. And, you know, I spent literally every day just running around, you know, running from the dealership to the gas station. I must have been to this gas station 35, 40 times in the last three weeks, you know, between deliveries and, and cars that were test driven and needed fuel and just, you know, all sorts of stuff. The next thing would be selling cars and doing dealer swaps, you know, uh, not with other other dealerships, but with our five locations. You know, usually if I sell a car and it's in another location, we send the driver, they go pick it up and one, two, three, it's done. Well, there's no one to do that, so I was doing it. So I made multiple trips back and forth to the other locations to pick up vehicles that we sold or, or that we wanted to show. Worked a bunch of deals through emails and phone calls and things like that. Uh, got cars sanitized, got cars cleaned, checked cars in when they came off to transport. You know, lease returns get picked up. You know, you're just, just doing a lot of busy work. And because of all that busy work, it's been tough to do any kind of, any kind of filming. But uh, we're gonna try to change that today and see if we can put something together to entertain you guys and kind of show you what it's been like. One thing I'm gonna check with you real quick is this GMC Canyon we have smells like smoke. Uh, really, as soon as you get in it. So from, I guess from previous owner or whatever the case may be. So I ran a machine in it yesterday that's supposed to take the smell out. And let me just squeeze in here. All right, let's see. It still smells like smoke. <laughs> uh, a little bit, not too bad, it's better. I'm gonna try to run the machine in it again today. So I have a client that came in to look at this specific truck. As soon as he got in, it smelled like smoke. Now, the, to be fair, the truck was probably closed up for 45, 50 days, you know, cause we hadn't shown it. We were closed for a while, it's just been sitting. Um, but when somebody does smoke in a car, it's very hard to get that smell out. It's in the vents, it's in the headliner, it's in the seats. Like it just gets, 
you know, really into everything and it's very hard to get it out. But we have this little machine you use, you plug it in, it's got some sort of filtration system on it. You run the climate control on recirculate, it brings it all through the fan and the vents. It does actually smell better, but uh, I'll have to let them be the judge of that. Now, we have this truck they're looking at. They're also looking at that black one there. And I have a silver one, I think a couple trucks over. They're looking at that. So they'll be here tomorrow, tomorrow Thursday, around uh, 4.30 to... Um, to kind of take a look at all three of them side by side again and then pick which one they want and then we'll move forward so it's it's probably going to be a deal on either this truck this truck right here or this one right here this is the machine right here uh so it's got a timer on it you got an ozone output low medium high knob you got some sort of filter on the back i'm actually going to plug this in and run in for another hour and uh see if it takes the smell out even more I'm gonna let that run for another hour and see what it smells like uh, tomorrow morning. What I did yesterday was I ran it, I parked it overnight, and I just got in it right now. Eh, it smells kind of gone, kind of still there, so we'll see if another uh, another hour does anything. What? They're not gonna do it. What? The GMC. The Hummer? Yeah. Apparently the Hummer uh, EV pickup truck that GMC is gonna sell, the electric one, was supposed to be unveiled today. And we just found out on the website that they're not unveiling it. They're gonna postpone the launch. The launch, they say? What did they say? Reveal. The reveal. They're gonna post. The, they're gonna postpone the reveal until further notice. But they're still on track for building it and developing it and all that sort of stuff. So unfortunately, we gotta wait longer for that. David speaking. How can I help you? I'm doing great. And you? Around 11:30, 12 o'clock. You were thinking. The Corvette is sold. Uh, that's a deal that's been worked uh, phone and internet. They're trading in a 2013 and they're gonna pick up that one LT. That's the last uh, 20, 2019 Corvette that we have. This tracks I'm in right now. I just got off the phone with a confirmed appointment. They're gonna be here around 12 o'clock. Uh, all the details have been already worked out through email and phone. So I'm gonna sanitize this up so they can test drive it when they get here. And uh, you know, whoa, whoops and we should be moving forward. So, you know, we got a bunch sold and we got a bunch in the process. We got a bunch in the works. So hit the curb and uh, yeah, man, it's fun times. That's right. Guys, blocking me in. This thing's in my way. So, this ionizer thing or whatever this ozone cleansing apparatus is uh, seems to work. It doesn't smell like smoke in here. Now, again, you kind of have to let it sit because um, you know it doesn't smell at the moment. But I also just turned the machine off. So we'll park it and we'll see how it is tomorrow once it's been closed up for you know 24 hours or so again these clients won't be here till tomorrow till 4 30 5 o'clock and uh we'll see we'll see what they think but we're gonna sell them one of the three trucks that i know for sure
My Trax appointment is now on the road. They're doing a quick test drive around the block. They like the color, so it should be good to go. Uh, we got to install heated seats in that vehicle. So what I would have to do is just gather all the information, the paperwork, stuff like that. And then um, once we get the heated seats put in, we'll have them come down, sign everything, and take delivery of the vehicle. So that's cool. I'm working on another customer with the trade. We're at 40. They want to be at 42. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. We'll see. That's on a, a Blazer. And uh, I have a delivery coming in. I'm going to watch on. I have a delivery coming in at 2 o'clock for the Equinox, which is only 12. So, so far, we're, uh, we're moving along. All right, the tracks is sold. It's all buttoned up. We just got to get everything together once they fill out the credit app online, get the heated seats put in, and then uh, it'll go to a happy home. David speaking, how can I help you? Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'll send you a picture of the car and then like a, a spec sheet with all the lease parameters and everything. All right? All right, cool. Thank you very much. Bye. Just buttoned up an Equinox. This is the new Midnight Blue Metallic, which is kind of a tough color to see unless you look in the, uh, really in the sunlight. I'm trying to capture a couple pictures for my customer so they can get an idea of the color. The main thing that they wanted with this car that was very important to them was the sunroof, which is the full dual pane panoramic roof. I think it's really awesome for the second row passengers because they're the ones that get the full the full view. When you're sitting in the front seat, you're kind of like, you know, the whole roof is really behind you. But uh, still a nice feature to have. All right, I lucked out. The Corvette we just pulled off the showroom floor. It's already got a full tank of gas, so I don't have to worry about that. Just going to bring it back and uh, get it detailed for tomorrow morning at 10.30. My Equinox clients are here. They're signing their paperwork right now for this 2020 Equinox Premier. Absolutely gorgeous vehicle, looking great. Uh, we're working on two other Equinox deals. The Trax deal, we have to have heated seats put in. The Corvette's in the back getting detailed for tomorrow morning. I'm getting caught up. I'm getting caught up. Another happy client down the road. It's gonna park their lease return here in the back. This is what they were driving, a Chevy Malibu. The Chevy Malibus are probably uh, one of the least popular cars we have now. You know, in our area, we do a lot of leasing and sedan leasing dropped off completely. You can get an Equinox, uh, definitely less expensive and a better deal than you can a Malibu. So little by little, sedan sales kind of dried up and crossovers took over. That reminds me, I want to talk real quick. I didn't, I drove the Trailblazer. If you saw, I've been making Trailblazer videos because that, that vehicle is new and it just came out. And I drove the other day in RS with the nine speed automatic. And I got to tell you, I actually like the CVT transmission feel better. And I didn't quite understand why I liked it better, but I figured it out. And it has to do with electric cars. So for the last, uh, you know, two years, I've been driving either a Volt or a Bolt and you drive an electric car, there's no transmission shifts. There's just instant torque, instant power. If you haven't driven an electric car yet, just to test drive one for fun, do it because uh, it, it's awesome. And uh, I'm gonna take this off. No one's gonna get in this car but me. Um, if you haven't done it, try it, right? Drive an electric car because you don't get any transmission shifts. It's just nice, smooth acceleration at any, any uh, speed. You know, you just always have the torque that you need. And the CVT transmission kind of gives you that same feel. So as you, as you hit the throttle a little bit, you just, that variable transmission adjusts. You really don't feel a shift. You just feel acceleration and power. And I, I really think I like it that way better. 
Now, I know CVTs don't necessarily have the best reputation, uh, not with General Motors, but with different manufacturers. So, you know, time will tell how that transmission acts and holds up and how people like it and reliability and all that. But um, I actually think it was it was pretty good. I think it felt great. I got to do the video yet driving the RS with that nine speed. I haven't had a chance to do that because uh, as you can see, if today's video, uh, you know, kind of portrays it, it's been busy, you know, and again, it's not necessarily busy like the store is busy like it usually is. But uh, business is picking up, and because there's only two of us here, you know, it's it's a lot of work for us, which, again, I absolutely love. Right now, it's 3 o'clock. Um, I haven't even eaten lunch yet. I got to grab something to eat. I have an appointment coming in at 5 o'clock to look at a traverse, and uh, we're just, you know, basically gathering information and getting things together for the deals that we have to get down the road. So I appreciate you guys watching this. Sorry it's been a while since you had a dealership life video. Uh, it's It's been for good reasons uh, that I haven't been able to, to do any filming. But uh, like I said in a couple of comments the other day, I'm going to try to make a, an effort to, to add stuff, uh, you know, even though I'm busy throughout the day, to try to take footage and, and add videos to the channel. So, uh, yeah, man. Listen, have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video.